Yo, what is going on guys? This is the 4th Gen Gamer here over on the Pokemon Fab 5 and we're bringing you guys some more Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Electric Monotype and my repel just fucking wore off. Wonderful. Thank you for telling me, game. <sighs> this is a different episode. This is a different style of episode. You guys see the gifs. This is not a live stream. Don't think you're watching a live stream of play because you are not. I'm trying this for the first time. People have been asking me, hey, why can't you just do the gifs you know, on the normal videos? And it's because the quality might be just a little bit lower because I'm using this in a different recording software. But I want you guys to let me know, and I want to battle this guy, and he's like avoiding me, jeez. I want you guys to let me know what you think of this. Now, obviously the quality of the video might be just a tad lower, but... But, we have the GIFs now! We have GIFs in the video, so I want you guys to let me know what you like better. Now, obviously, this is going to be um, a normal thing on my channel and this channel if, you know, I like it. And here's the thing, though. If we want to add in a Pokemon... I would need to pause the video to add in a Pokemon. I'll be like, alright guys, we just caught a Pokemon. I'm gonna go, you know, we'll pause the video, then, you know, get a Pokemon into the, you know, the layout or whatever. Luckily for this uh, Let's Play, I think they were pretty much done with getting Pokemon. We have a pretty full team. Obviously, Makihita is not in the layout because he's not really part of the team. Sorry, Makihita. But he has been pretty clutch because he is, like, the only Pokemon that can fucking learn Rock Climb. But anyway, we kind of need Rock Climb badly for this, uh, <laughs> for this, uh, little part of the game, you know. Uh, another downfall, though, is that I can't really... I can see the time of the video, actually. I just... Yeah, there we go. I actually can see that. That's actually pretty nice. Just found out about that. Hey, the more you know. But anyway, today, guys, we obviously do not have our Bella the Pachirisu in the party, like, right this second. Um, because, sadly, we have... Um, we have some troubles with uh, Rock Climb, because no one in the fucking game can learn Rock Climb, as you guys heard me say a minute ago. And that kind of just sucks. But... We'll deal with it, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go to the Distortion World this episode and stuff, and originally I was thinking we can just do the top of Spear Pillar, but this is, um, Melkornet does take a little quicker than I want I remembered, so we'll see. Maybe we'll do, like, either a shorter episode and save, uh, the Distortion World for next episode, or we'll just make it a little bit of a longer episode and do both, or it'll just be a normal length episode. I have for fucking forget how long Distortion World takes. I think it, like... It's easier the more that you do it, kind of, just with practice. Um, you just kind of remember the puzzles and stuff. But it's been a while since I did Platinum. Um, I've been doing a lot of Diamond and Pearl and stuff. And hey, if you do want to see some more 4th Gen stuff, I'm going to be starting on my channel a Diamond Piplup solo run in. That was recorded uh, a lot ahead of time, so you're going to see the old me from, like, February recording that shit. And why can I not run? Wow, go fuck a tree. And I don't want to even use Thunder Wave. Jeez, I hate you. <sighs> wow, that was more complicated than it needed to be. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to be doing some of that, so 4th uh, Gen never ends. <laughs> and I think we're almost at the top, actually. That's not bad. Yeah, we just have this little area, this part of the cave, which is like two or three battles, and then we have, um... Shit, we only have, like, uh... One more little part of the cave, and I think we're already at the fucking top of uh, Mount Cornet, and we're going to be at Spear Pillar, really cool part of the game. And I believe I did this in my Diamond Soul Room, but I'm definitely going to have to raise the volume and... I don't know, I love Distortion World music. I love Spear Pillar music when it's just like so eerie and all you hear is like this little breeze and I, I love it. And hey, look at this Sparkzilla coming in clutch. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it going at 1 HP until it dies. This thing's been pretty nice though. And yep, here we go. This is the last little part of the cave. And then we're gonna head out to Spear Pillar. Which is gonna be lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Uh, what I will do, however, is you'll see my unprofessionalism in... Raising the game volume in a moment here. Uh, let's see. Discharge. Yeah. Discharge is a pretty sick move. And um, I wish I could get a little better moves on Leo Shog. I mean, I'm okay with not having some moves. But I mean, ah, Thunder Fang. That's pretty nice. I think I only have Bite though, right? Do I have... I don't think I even have Crunch yet, right? I'm just using this thing and I can't even... Yeah, it was Bite. You're going to see my unprofessionalism in raising the volume on the volume mixer on my computadora. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, no, shit, this recording software doesn't get that. Wow. Maybe I should be, uh, using this a lot more often. This only records my game. Okie doke. Hopefully you guys can hear a little bit better now. It's that music that you know that something's about to happen, you know? And, yep, something spectacular is about to go down. And, uh, conveniently enough, I do have my volume mixer right here now. So we'll ra lower that volume one more time there. And uh, I'll raise it again once we have some other shit going on. And why the fuck do I have my Magahita? No, 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 no. 
No, thank you. <laughs> actually, Maki is not terrible for this right now because he's like what level 32. That's actually not too far off from the levels. Um, definitely not close to the levels. I would not use that phrase. Um, by any means. <laughs> And we're going to be really under level for this Cyrus battle that we're going to have eventually. That's not going to turn out that good. <sighs> Alright. Shit, I hope that we get restored for this next battle against the uh, two commanders. That would be just fantastic. And wow. Tsubaki is like... Wow. Surf and Discharge both affect everybody in battle, which is kind of a blessing and a curse. Because then it'll affect me a lot too. So, yeah, that sucks. Oh wait, we got we got signal beam. Signal beam is not too bad actually. I like that. I can deal with that. All right, cool galactic grunt and galactic grunt. We are a cable of slowing you. We will let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. Oh, how nice of you! Right, I'll raise the volume again. Ah, that's good. I can live with that. Bow. Ah oh, shit! No, really, I raised my volume for like two seconds of walking. Where do you think you're going? I won't let you disturb my boss. If you're not going to listen, you'll have to go through me first. After all, you made me look bad more times than I care to remember. And Jupiter says, and I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time, the gloves are coming off. Hey, Barry says, hold on one second. Don't you start the party without me. Jupiter's like, what the fuck, huh? So, right, Barry says, remember me? I'm here to get my revenge. <laughs> if it isn't that little boy... The little crybaby from Lake Acuity, and here's like Cyrus, he's like daydreaming because he's like, I'm about to have my own, my, he's like thinking that he's gonna have his whole entire world to himself, that's what his plan is. Did you toughen up a bit? Sure, let's battle, two on two. Alright, not bad. And with that, let's get it. Cool deal. Uh, fuck, I still have Makihita in the front, what the fuck, man? Oh, I did not mean for that. Stop. Much likes you better actually do something. I'm getting annoyed with you. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Thunder Fang, even though Bite might do a good amount. Oh, fuck. Alright. No, you fuckers. They're just gonna do Stockpile. Why? Do you have to be a dick? You know what? Fuck it. I'm just... Actually, no, I'll go for a Signal Beam. Signal Beam will do a good amount. Or not. Or not. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a Surf. Much likes. I don't care. You have really good Special Defense. You just use, like, Stockpile two times, so... Yeah... Let's go for that again. That did pretty good before. Not bad at all. There we go. Hey, Munchlax doing a little bit of work, actually. I can take that. Uh, no, fuck you, you dick. All right, Body Slam. Wow, this Munchlax is actually doing good for us. Like, uh, our friend Barry here, he usually sucks. Um, let's see. I don't know. Thunderbolt. 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 Maybe. Shit. That didn't do anything. Um, I don't know, let's get Perugly out of here, I guess. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, we have Makahita left, that's just fantastic. Let's use our nice revive, a nice, clean revive. Hey, Heracross putting in work! Uh, not bad. I think I might just let this, um... Let's Heracross put in some work for me, and then I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll help a little bit. If I have the chance to. Uh, let's see, 41, not bad. Okay, uh, if we can outspeed, that would be great. We can get a discharge down. Uh, please. Please. Yeah, okay, that didn't do shit. Why can't you do more damage? Come on now. Aqua Jet followed by a nice discharge. Sorry, floats, I know that hurt you. But now we got that. Now we can put up this volume for good. Boom. Boom, boom. Ah, hi, why not? <laughs> My Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. But, you know... That's it for us. We've hit the wall. Josh, I'll help you with this. I love you, man. I love you so much. I love you. Barry, fully heal Josh's Pokemon. I love you. And I keep on raising this volume like there's no tomorrow. And yep, yep, yep. Hey, Josh, this is it. It's your show now. <laughs> See ya. All right, I'm not going to I'm not gonna curse you out because, you know, you actually did help me. You, uh, you know, heal my Pokemon. And Cyrus is speechless. Everything is ready for the creation of a new world. Now all will end, and everything will begin. With this, the red chain made from the crystals of the three lake Pokemon. And this, the red chain I replicated with technological means. With these red chains, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I feel like this volume should be even higher. I don't know. I'm gonna blow my ears up. 
I command that you unleash your power for me. The Red Chain. Volume, 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 volume. That's high as it can go for me. <laughs> oh, man. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and the master of time. And the other. Palkia, the mythical Pokemon and the master of space and dimensions. Nigga. I've waited so long for this moment. Dialga and Palkia! You know what? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Now you actually see me doing shit. Or no, you don't. Wow, this, this software is awesome. I need to, like, blast this volume. I love this. I love this so much. And yep. Dialga and Palkia. Shaping this world is a double spiral of time and space. Yes, the very things that you have the ability to control. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. He's probably trying to enslave these Pokemon. Very good. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. The incomplete and ugly world we have now can disappear. I am resetting everything to zero. Nothing can remain. It is all for making the ultimate world. A world of complete perfection. Nothing so vague and incomplete as spirit can remain. I feel like I'm with some type of cult personality right now. It's like weird. Yuxi of Lake Acuity. Mesprit. Of Lake Verity. And a Zelf of Lake Valor. I should have expected uh, as much. Now it's on the top screen, that's interesting. Yuxi, the being of knowledge. Azelf, the being of willpower. And Mesprit, the being of emotion. The Pokemon have come to protect Sinnoh, pathetic and worthless. It takes the three of them, the three lake Pokemon that symbolize spirit, to balance either the Pokemon of time or space. But they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both Dialga and Pokey are here. Their coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Now, Josh... You've constantly interfered with my plans, but you'll be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all time when I am dumb. All spirit will disappear. Will be ripped away. You know what represents no spirit? That's antimatter, bitch. No, I don't know. From you! From your Pokemon! From those precious to you. It is time. My dream will become reality. What? What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged. Interesting. So there's a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Just take it all in, everybody! Just take it all in! Do you see that shit? This is why I love Platinum. This is why I love Platinum. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the powers of Yellow Gunabogia! Ah! I, sirs, won't have any more to interfere! Well, that escalated quickly. No! Well, 
Well, hello. It's just getting intense right here. Alright, we can lower that down a little more now. Sorry I took so long. I think I finally found the answer from studying this. Why don't you get your ass up here? Uh, whatever, I'm going to stop complaining here. When this world was made, Dialga and Pokey appeared. Apparently, there was one more Pokemon that appeared at the time. A Pokemon with as much power as Dialga and Pokey. But also one whose name was never to be spoken. Garatina! It's said to lurk in another world. A world on the opposite of ours. That's what the shadow was. It must have been Garatina. The pillars are distorting. It's because of the portal. It joins us to another world. If it's not closed, the distortion will spread to Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? We have to chase Cyrus. Oh yeah, we have to hurry. Oh, that is fucking amazing. And in the distortion world we go. This place. Can you feel it? There are no Pokemon here at all. Time isn't flowing and space isn't stable. A world where the rules are broken. A space one might call the distortion world. It's fine, Garantina. We need to stop. We need it to stop the spreading distortion at the spirit pillar. That was Garantina. We have to hurry. If something's not done, the distortion will swallow not only our world, it will overwhelm the distortion world. Well, that escalated quickly. Just a bit. Just a bit. Hey, this music is actually pretty sick, too. I just realized that my sound settings on OBS were a little low, so hopefully uh, when I put up the volume, it actually did go up some for you guys. But you guys need to let me know what you think of this new GIF thing we got going on. And that shit was sick. I love Platinum. I love that scene. That is like, ah, oh, that's freaking amazing. It's not over yet, guys. We have some... Uh, some awesome shit to do here in the distortion world. But I think that we're going to do this next episode because we're already like 18 minutes in. 17 minutes in. So I don't want to go in uh, too far and uh, have like a half hour, 45 minute episode. Because uh, I, I want to take it all in. I love this place so much. It's just so cool. You're just hopping around. Just It's awesome. Gen 5, why can't you be like this? Why can't you just be like this? Like, okay, I, I'm going to stop. So like some guys, thank you for watching this. The 4th Gen Gamer here over on the Pokemon Fab 5. Next time, guys, Distortion World. We are crushing this shit. And we're going to take care of Garatina, Cyrus, kick his ass, maybe kick him off one of these cliffs. He'll fall down, and then I don't know what's going to happen after that. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching. This is the 4th Gen Gamer. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>